So it's 4 a.m. I'm super, super tired, but I thought I'll shoot a quick video giving you my best tips, uh, just quickly cycling through my best tips for a lot of topics that you probably have problems with. So in just five, 10 minutes, I'm gonna give you a full list of things where each item I'm gonna give you is life-changing, especially if you have that problem. And I'm just gonna try to hit as many points as quickly as possible. Again, this is gonna be pretty life-changing. Most likely you haven't thought of these tips. Uh, not just tips, it's like life-changing advice. So let's go and please watch this till the end. I want you to really get all the value you can get. So here we go. Um, so the first one that I have is discipline. Let's say that you have problems with discipline, like you feel like it's hard for you to, 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 to stay true to your word. So let's say you decide I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. You don't actually do it. You want to wake up early in the morning. You don't actually do it. You have very low, uh, you don't have uh, your own word, you know, a man of his word. Like you don't really trust your own word to, to do what you say you're going to do. So in this case, it's always a lack of commitment, a lack of necessity. So any sort of thing that's hard for you to, to implement, let's say it's hard for you to get start waking up at 5 a.m., uh, you just find that no matter what, you just you're, you want to do it, but it just something stops you. You can't really focus enough and do it. Well, in that case, what you want to do is to basically create necessity by, let's say, paying somebody if you fail. So you need to wake up at 5 a.m., talk to your best friend or your girlfriend or your family member and just tell them, look, if I don't message you by five and five minutes, then I owe you $100. And you do that for just a couple of days. And once you did it for enough time, it will become a habit. And now you'll be able to do it without the help. So that's how you fix discipline issues. Just increase the necessity, make a commitment. Now, low energy. So a lot of people have problems with lack of energy or they feel overwhelmed. So life is like overwhelming. It's like everything moves too fast uh, for them and they can't really sit and think and they can't read. In that case, it's the, the three solutions that I have that always work when you implement them. First of all, uh, lack of sleep is your problem, the biggest one. So get at least seven hours every night and that will already improve your, your focus and emotional well-being massively. Second thing is get a fruit shake and slash or a vegetable shake every morning. So at least one or two fruit slash vegetable shakes every day. This will really fill your stomach and it's a ton of vitamins. So it's really, really healthy. And because your stomach is full, you're not going to eat stuff that is not healthy. You know, I'd obviously as a vegan, I would urge you to go on a vegan diet. But let's say you don't really want to do that. You just when you keep eating meat and dairy and everything. Well, the more fruits and, sh and vegetables you eat, the more full you're going to be, which means you're going to eat more of the stuff that gives you like energy and you're not going to eat as much of the stuff that takes away energy. You know how you eat like big meat um, dish or a big uh, dairy dish and you just feel tired after. Well, you don't get that when you eat vegan things because it's really easy to digest them. So that's the second thing. And the third thing is exercise. So do at least one thing every day that kind of pushes your physical body, you know, your physique to the limit. So whether it be really tough stretching or really uh, tough weightlifting or re really tough uh, running, just anything that will sort of take your body to the limit in any capacity and your body will quickly adapt to the high energy environment, you'll feel a lot better. The third one is values. So Values are the third uh, topic is values. So let's say you have problems with motivating yourself and making things consistently work in your life. So you don't know, sometimes you do things and they work, sometimes you do things and they don't work. And the reason for that is values. And you need to identify your values. My personal values are progress and growth. So that's number one. Number two is truth and ethics. And that's number two. And number three 
is love and commitment, which I kind of look at them in the, as the same thing. That's why I, I compile them together. So whenever I look at successes in my life, it was, was always uh, when I was growing quickly and making progress quickly, and I was ethical and honest, and I did that by committing to whatever I did, which also used to be, would usually be correlated with love. So you need to find your values. I know many people who are not successful, and it's easier to find your values that way because you're not really tied to anything, so you can just look objectively at your, at your past and see what happened that worked and what didn't. But I also know a lot of people who are very, very successful, make six, seven figures a year, but they don't feel good about their life, and it's always the problem with values. There's something missing. Uh, for example, one of my friends who makes about a million dollars a year uh, told me that he has, for the last few months, kind of like dealt with a lack of motivation. Everything just felt bland. And I sat down with him and looked at his history, and we found that his main value is actually uh, the unknown. So things that are exciting, that are challenging, you don't know what's going to happen. And what happened was his business was like that at the beginning, and he would work 18 hours a day, and now he barely works like 10, and he gets really bored and tired because it just doesn't fit his uh, values. And he starts getting attracted to other things that are dangerous and risky, and he thinks, oh, that's maybe because it's just the right thing to do now. So no, the, the reason he's attracted to it is like when you don't get what you need from a relationship, you're going to look at other people. So once he got back to the actual uh, value of like uncertainty and actually doing stuff in your business that make you like excited because you don't know what's going to happen, then all his enthusiasm and focus came back. And I know many types of values that are um, of this sort. Um, one major value could be, for example, socializing. So I know a lot of people, uh, including a recent client of mine, that really handle, really work well when they're talking to a lot of people. So I'm kind of like that too. But some people are really like that, where when you're always on the phone talking to people, you know, friends and clients and just always using people, talking to people, promoting people, asking help from people, they just feel amazing and that's another, another example of a value. Um, the th fourth topic is how to actually successfully do habits. So most people, the reason they fail with habits is because they aim way too high, uh, which means that uh, they, let's say you want to start working out, so they say, okay, I'm going to work out every day, five days a week for an hour, or they want to start meditating. Oh, I'm going to meditate for 30 minutes every day, you know, for the whole week. And they always start with like these big, big goals. But the thing is, you don't really, you're not used to it yet. So what you need to do is you need to set a minimum goal rather than like ideal or optimal. So what's the minimum thing that I would be satisfied if I did? So for example, for me, if I set up a new habit, let's say I go back to meditating after not meditating a long, long time the habit that I'll set would be uh, I would I need to meditate for four or five minutes every day. And my criteria is what is some like a, a level of the habit that I'll do every day, no matter what, even on my worst day. Like you you wake up at like two AM and you remember that you forgot to meditate. Will you actually get up and do the four minutes? If not, you need to lower the minimum even more because consistency is really the key to building up that habit and one misconception that people have is that because you set up a low minimum uh, that means that you're not going to do more so of course that's retarded like if you set up a, a, a certain habit of doing push-ups every day and you say I'm just going to do 20 push-ups the moment you get used to it because it's it's like not a big deal you're just going to want to do more so just because you have a minimum doesn't mean you have to reach the minimum. You're probably an ambitious person, so you'll probably do a lot more, but it's important to have that to fall back on. And one last tip is that if you do miss a habit, don't actually uh, try to compensate the next day. That's going to be a really, really bad decision uh, that will make you lose the habit completely. 
Uh, now sales. How, what's the best process for selling or the best way of thinking about the strategy? Well, it's really simple. Any type of thing that you want to sell. First of all, you want to bait. Uh, bait means like, hey, come on a free coaching call with me. Uh, second thing is demonstrate. So actually, not just don't talk about what you offer, but actually demonstrate it. And once the person has 100% confidence in you and what you offer, now you can actually close them really, really easily. Next up, what, how do you make progress in life? Like how do you actually get from point A to point B? So there's two ways and they both work simultaneous, simultaneously and you have to have one to have the other if you want like really good, really big success. So the first one is habits. The habits that you have are going to be the baseline of where your life is going on like autopilot. So if you have the habit of, uh, the habits of reading, working out, meditating, sleeping well, uh, saving 15% of your income for investing, uh, increasing your income, uh, you know, pushing to increase your income every week. Just these kind of really, really good habits. Your life is going to probably go really, really well because you're going to be, again, well-read. You're going to be in great shape. Uh, you're going to th be very clear thinking. Your income is increasing. Your savings and investments are increasing. That's one thing. Obviously, if you have negative habits, the negative thing happens. The opposite happens. Um, now, the, the second way is using goal-directed behavior. So goal-directed behavior is where you choose to accomplish a goal. Like I'm going to, uh, let's say, uh, like I stuff that I did. Like I'm going to uh, do a lecture and there's going to be 500 people in it. And I'm going to make a three-week deadline starting today. So you choose some sort of a goal. And you can also plan out how you do it, but you don't have to. And then you uh, create a really, really strong necessity where you don't have a choice, where you have to actually make the goal happen or there will be consequences. And that will make, like that kind of massive, massive action will create really, really quick results. But if the results are not backed up by really good habits, you're going to lose the results very, very fast and probably even lose a lot more than you initially invest, invested. Finally, um, leveraging. What's the best, most efficient way to leverage, you know, growth about your in your business and in your life? Well, the best way is to ask people to help you. So let's say you want to get more views on your YouTube channel. Just share your video and then ask your friends to share it too. So call 20, 30 people. Now, what I'm saying call, not text, because texting is horrible. Like in my experience when you text like 30 people hey please share my video about 95 percent maybe 98 percent won't do it and maybe 10 percent will respond and say sorry uh, but when you make a call when you actually call 30 people and say hey man what's up i'm good how are you doing i'm doing good look there's something i wanted to ask you I've uploaded a video that I really would like you to share. Can you, do you mind helping me, please? That would really, really do a lot to my success. Uh, 80 to 95% of people will say, of course, I'd love to help you. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the best, your best friend. I'm talking about just people that know you and like you. Uh, so that's how you really, really, really leverage. Like you want to hire a new employee, t talk to 20 people and, and tell them about it and ask them to help you find the employee if they know one. Uh, you want to get better at investing, talk to 20 people and ask them if they know what's the best way to get more info about investing, how to learn about investing. So in general, just talking to people and using people is the fastest way to leverage because 10 people, no matter how smart you are, can always do things a lot better, a lot more of them than you can do. So maybe you can do things more efficiently yourself, but 10 people will achieve more uh, some some of results than uh, what one person can achieve. So these are my tips. Um, I'm really dead tired and I'm about to go to sleep. So that's why the video is a cut a bit short. But if you liked it, please subscribe and thanks for watching all the way. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to help you in the comments. So talk soon. See you later.